now that I created my video, um, there are a couple, couple different ways that I can actually get to it. So the first way is if I just stay into Teams, as soon as I end my meeting, um, my I can, I'm can i basically in a channel where my meeting took place and I can see that my video is just going to show up as part of like a chat essentially. If I want to go to it, um, we're going to want to change some settings so we can have our kids watch it. Um, but I'll just click the three dots for more options. And then I'm going to click open up in Microsoft Stream. And then what that'll essentially do is it'll take me to Office 365 and Stream is just a, basically another app in Office 365 that holds all the videos. So we'll end up doing this in a second, but I just want to walk through some of the other options as well. Um, also what will happen is this vi once this video is uploaded to Stream, you'll get an email notification from Microsoft saying that it's ready. So I didn't get my email yet, but it'll probably happen within a couple minutes and actually it looks like it just popped up right now so if I jump over um, I say all right so uh, Microsoft stream my um, sample video is ready to publish edit or share if I click on it it's gonna take me right into Office 365 um, so these would be the direct ways to get straight up to your video um, the third option would be just to go to um, portal.office.com which I'll just do that so I just go to the Office homepage, and then in my case, because I've used Stream before, Stream is showing up on my home screen. If for some reason you don't see Stream, you might just have to click All Apps, and then you just might have to find, scroll down so you find Stream. And then what it should do is after you use it the first time or the first couple of times, it should just make it really easy for you to find and, and be on your home screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back. Um, actually, we'll go right into Stream here. Um, if you don't go directly to your video, what you'll have to do is you'll have to click My Content, and then you're going to click on Videos, and then Samples, the one that we just worked on. So, I mean, on the other screens, you could basically see that you had options to just share that link right away. But what we're going to do is look at some of the settings that you can use with it. So I'm going to just click on it for right now, and I'm just going to just pause it. So before I share it out, there's a couple things that I want to do. So I'm going to click on these little dots for where it says more actions. And then if I, I'm not really particular for in this case, because I'm not going to use the video, but like I said before, if you shared your screen or if you started recording before you shared your screen and you wanted to cut off like the beginning or end of your video, um, here's where you could trim the video and you just cut off however much of the beginning or end that you want. Um, so that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to update the video details. So we learned after trying this out a little bit that there's just a little bit that we want to do to it. So I named my meeting sample. So if you, if you just left it as something generic, you could change it here if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. You can add a description if you want to, but the two things that we, that we definitely want to do for every video that we create is we want to set the language to English. By setting a language, um, it automatically allows us to auto-generate a, a closed caption file. And this is really important for the students that we have that would potentially have some sort of um, learning disorder where they would not be able to hear what's being said, but they could be able to read the words that are on the screen. Um, and it's also beneficial for students who are learning the English language because um, they could potentially have that translated in the language that they choose, um, or they could at least see the, the written word that's going along with what you're saying so they can start to have some recognition. And then, so, so the first thing that we did is we set our language to English. And then the next thing we have to do is we need to allow everybody in our company to see the video. That doesn't mean everybody will see the video. It just means that you can share it and any of your students would be able to see it um, without you having to like go and specifically give them permission to do so. So check off allow everyone in your company to view the video and then you're going to hit apply. And essentially those are the only settings that we need to work with um, when we are um, going through this process.
And in your next video, what you're going to learn how to do is actually go and get the link to share the video and get that into your Schoology course or your Skyward message or wherever you want um, your kids or parents to be able to see the video.